Okay, a couple of you good denizens of Hammock Forums wanted to know what my rig line looked like, so here we go. Put it around the tree, got a loop alien on that end, just on a lark's head, around the medium sized eye. Now take a bite of the end, stick it through the big eye, and over the top of the little one. That's adjustable, you slide it up and down the line. Like that, like that, like that. If you don't want it to slip too much, you can put a twist in it. Just take it out, twist it over, and it locks against itself. Super duper! Handsome! That gives you your V, so your hammock suspension up through the middle if that's the way you roll. Onto the other end. Farewell, folks. Back. Okay, Mr. DeMille, I'm ready for my close up. So, box head, loop, loop through the hole, over the lump. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. If you want a twisty wisty, make it safey wafy. There you go. Safe. 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 Okay then, let's have a look at this end. Our little aliens here. I'm just going to let it on. Let's show you how I put it on. So, look at the tree. Hold on to the little eye. Put the line through with the top end on the right, loose end on the left, pull it right over like a lark's head. You could collapse it down like that and then you're not going to be able to adjust it. So lark's head it over there like that and it'll slide both ways. Nice and easy to adjust. Once you're happy you've got it in a good spot, turn it round. Now if you turn it 180 that way you'll see it's crossing over and it's locking against itself. You turn it the other way it looks like it's locking until you pull. You see it doesn't lock. It actually locks the wrong way. It's a pain. So it's an easy mistake to make but you'll soon find out if you're going wrong. So rotate it through 180 degrees point it back at the tree and you'll see it's tight. Then you're ready to go round the tree. So take your line, put it round the tree. Hello tree. Don't want a branch. Are you ready to load up your alien? So it'll be sitting like that. Now, tight end on one side and the loose end towards the little eye. Loose end, little eye. Now the reason for that, there's a little jamming effect going on in there. Like Bob Marley, they're jamming. So you pull up tight, release, jams in there. You can release that by just pushing on the eye and then loosening, the, loosening off that jam effect. Marmalade or jam. Or there is another way of releasing it. You can push down, release, pull tighten up, jammed in place. Or you can just pull the loose end up there so it spills that jam. Nobody wants spilled jam. That sounds messy. So, pull it down and get the jam effect again. See at this end, the line is wrapping around itself nice and tight. It's not going anywhere. If we've got it rotated around the other way, it would just slide when we put a pull on. As you see, when I pull, I've got one, two, three lines of tension. So we've got a three line, a three to one, 
pulley working. To release it. Are you bored yet? Let's do it again. I like it. I'm in love with this. Pull, pull, pull. The jam. Don't you love the jam? My poor Wello is here in the woods with me. That's probably good enough. Hell, I sound American for a minute. Okay, that's probably just fine. But I suppose it could loosen. A robin could sit on here and loosen it. That would be bad. So, it's jammed, but let's make it really secure. Tuck it round the little eye. Pull it in behind. A couple of times. Pull it in behind. Do it many times. How paranoid are you? Is that ever going to go anywhere? No. Scissors, that would do it. But that's not going to come undone. And it's really, really quick to undo. You spill those. Fill it back down to your original jam cam. And just loosen it off. Undo. And you're away. C'est voila. French have a word for that. And that's it, really. I think we've gone here far enough. Loose end towards the little eye. Turn that one through 180. Make sure it goes the right way so it jams. Lock off. Hootie doody. One top.